We have here Lisa, who's gonna be with me on this vlog, and her husband, Yoni. Hello. I'm Yoni's nice wife for a day. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We have Tear. Are you okay? wondering because on Lisa's vlog, she'll be pretending to be Yoni's wife for a day. Yes. So, kayo. So, you have to see Three wives. Um, yeah, two wives. Only one wife, Hobbs. I'm on no. vacation. Oh, you're on vacation? Yeah. <laughs> We've got my trainer over here, Christina Luisa. She's gonna do our session for today. It's gonna be Lisa's first time to work out with us. I'm scared. I feel like working out my upper body. So, let's do this. Workout because upper body. Upper body. Actually, we're going to work out with Lisa. Like, she loves working out her lower body, which I hate. And I love working out my upper body. Which I she hate hates. working out my upper body. Better yeah. good workout. Yay! Yeah. Now I'm preparing a healthy meal for us. So, apparently, we both love pala munching on carrots. Yeah. And now, strawberry. Guys, grab yung options of healthy food sa bahay ni Kat. So, you know, <laughs> Pero alam mo na lang kung binago natin na. Ah. Like yeah. dati para it's a noodles or like Well, gano pa rin naman yun. Sir. <laughs> yeah, pero mas healthy na tayo kumain. Yeah, yeah, I think now healthy food doesn't feel like a sacrifice. We actually enjoy it. Yeah, we actually enjoy it. So, kita hits. So, now ano lulutuin mo for Ah, hindi pa to luto snack muna ko, ma'am. Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah. Gavin, I never thought actually before when I was younger, I never thought I would be into healthy food. Like, I used to hate salad. Like, so Me also, I hated vegetables. Now I actually prefer it. Like I actually love eating vegetables and I actually appreciate like fruits and everything. My current assistant Sophia, shout out. Mm -hmm. Time to eat vegetables and fruits. And parang we really see the difference in kasi, like with our body, with you our feel skin. More energized. Yeah. yeah, your skin is also glowing. Yeah. Ta-da! All done. So this is one of my favorite snacks. Just fresh carrots with roasted sesame. Tip. Let's go, house guest. Did you eat this with carrots? Yeah, I watched it before cutting. Love it all. Just checking. Then now we're cooking lunch for everyone. So we're doing big salmon and we're doing steamed vegetables, which you guys have seen the other time. My zucchini carrots and like tomatoes and everything, onions. And also we're doing salt and pepper squid. Grab it. So this is another change from like when I was younger to now. I never ever thought that I would enjoy cooking, but I actually do enjoy it. I mean, you guys have seen it. Like we've spoken about it a million times that the kitchen is probably a place I would never ever <laughs> enter. But now I enjoy it and I actually like as much as I can, I try my best to prepare meals for the house and I because I really... I enjoy it. Like, I don't do it because, you know, that's what a wife is supposed to do. But I truly, truly enjoy it. So this is another Tita Hits that I truly enjoy. Which is, like, super duper shocking. So we have here our salmon baking. And then we have here steamed vegetables steaming. <laughs> and then we have here Tess doing the hard work. Which is to fry the squid because I am scared of frying stuff. <laughs> So now we're opening the salmon. Beautiful! Juicy! Can you smell it? Mm. Or you should be proud of your friend here. Lunch is served. So... Lisa is trying out my life as a wife. Yes, so please stay tuned sa vlog ko. Ngayon lang kami nakapag... Freshen up. The entire morning was just us fixing the household. And then like doing some work. And then now, we're gonna do even more work. Wanna yeah. try? Yeah. Yes. 
And then like even though it's a weekend, technically it's a weekend, I am supposed to be wearing out like having fun. Usually when we hang out, it's always like that, like kailangan merong like schedule may ganap. But nowadays, because everyone is always so busy, we just hang out doing things. Yeah. <laughs> Chill lang. Chill. Chill life. Make a life. I love this. I actually have this. Essence. Yeah. Try this. I know you have the regenerous one. Yeah. This is the whip. Okay. Oh, whip. And then all oh, over nice. the face also. Yeah, but this one has SPF na. Oh, perfect. Kasi, you know me, I can't live without sunblock. Yeah, takot siya for her friend. Yes. <laughs> that has ano na, SPF 30. Tapos, it's whipped because it's supposed to be like lighter, moisturizes your face. So it's kind of like our Olive Regenerous. It mm, gives you that okay. glow. Pero all in one na siya. You're all about the glow. And all in one na siya because, girl, we got no time for that. We Can need sure multi. Nikomari right. <laughs> 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 Okay, ito sa yo, ito sa Okay, okay, okay. So I thought, na, since we were so busy the entire day, I wanted to do like kind of like a get ready with me together and just talk about how our lives has changed from our younger years. Okay. Our I'm younger, young. more foolish years. Our younger, more foolish years, and now that we're legit titas. Because I think you are like one of my most tita friends. Thank you, ah. Uh. Why? Ako <laughs> I accept my tita ness. You don't accept your tita ness. I do. Pero kung you please clarify na that I'm the only single okay. girl sa blogger besties group. So. Kung naman ako sa blogger. Ah okay. Like, ah okay. 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 So if you want a single tita, not a married tita, a single tita is right here. I'm very Lisa much Tahayon. available. <laughs> um, Lisa Krahayon is just here, so she is 30 years old. 31, 24, 34. Tama ba? Grabe naman yung 32. 32. 34. Yeah, I'm, I'm oh my 30 god, ako 31 long. Proud. Proud to be flat. <laughs> Alam mo, that's one of the changes na I've noticed also. I'm more like at ease with my body now. Ako ay notice na kay yung boobs ko. Okay, iba yung topic niya. <laughs> Sa akin iba, like, feeling ko, when I was younger, I was so insecure about the flaws, like, yeah, my flaws. Super, like, super. Before, I remember pa when I was, like, going through, like, puberty and stuff like that, I would do mga, like, put pa mga tissue, ganun, kasi I wanted, like, bigger. Uh, always, like, going for, like, the double cup size, always the push-up. I mean, of course, I still enjoy a push-up moment, but parang feeling ko now that I'm a full-fledged tita, I've come to accept my flaws, and, like, even now, like, I'm braless. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I'm but I'm fine. Like, I don't need cleavage to be seen. I don't need. Parang I really become more at ease. Ako naman, parang I still have insecurities. Pero parang the way we deal with it also is parang better. Na hindi yung like before pag insecure ka, like you let it consume you. Ngayon parang okay, I'm insecure Totoo. about this, but I can't do anything about it. Totoo. And I know I have other assets naman that I can highlight or flaunt. So do na lang tayo. True But having said that, what do you think is the biggest change about younger Lisa to now, like older Lisa? Aside from like being more accepting of her flaws. Mm. Shocks. Thank you for that wonderful question. <laughs> Shocks. You know, answer ko. Uh, I guess in relation to that, mas naging confident ako. Or parang I also started to care less anong tingin sa akin ng ibang tao, you know. Kasi, Ay, totoo yun. That, and you know this, di ba? Ang dami ko dating decisions na I always need to consult with you or like mm. with, di ba? Ngayon parang, I'll just decide on my own kasi alam kong kaya ko naman. Yeah. Ayun, mas, ano, confident sa sarili ko yeah. and my abilities. Yeah. I think I'll zero in on that. I think it's the same for me also. Like, I've stopped caring about what other people think. Or actually, it's not about what other people, but other people who don't really matter. No. So, it's all about like, okay, what do people around me that matter, like, think? It's more about that and like, what do I think? I think that's one of the biggest changes talaga. Kasi, Alam mo, dala rin yung confidence yun eh. Totoo. And ano ah, parang, Yung confidence, it's really something you develop as you get older and also pag, you know, life humbles life you. Life experiences, oh. yeah. Life humbles you. Life changes you, honestly. Oh. I think that's also the reason why your friends at one point of your life won't always remain your friends as you grow older. Because you tend that to really ugly. grow apart. You really grow apart because life changes you. And it just so happens that some people get stuck at a certain point in their lives and some people just move on and like, grow faster so then when you grow older parang that's also like those are also you the type drift apart, yeah, yeah you drift apart and tend to stay friends with people that you have more things in common with i think as you get older you also weed out like the friends friends lang and like your true friends like you start to 
really hang out with like true friends na talaga na who really think like you or like who has the same values and same morals. Values, yeah, because oh. I was gonna say na just because we drift apart from certain people doesn't mean that they're bad. Iba yeah, lang, you know, iba lang kayo sa ibang stage lang kayo ng life. Yeah, so, you it's also, really normal. You have different priorities now. Alam mo yun pala, um, in relation again to what you said. Dati kasi I used to dwell kapag meron akong friendships or relationships pag nag-drift apart. Parang kinikimkim ko na always kiniisip, shocks, there must be something wrong with me. Pero yun nga, parang na-realize ko na normal lang, natural progression minsan ng friendship. Diba? Yeah. I agree. So, parang as your priorities change, the things that you enjoy also change. Like, for example, for us, like now, our tita Kation is more like, just like this, like hanging out. Chill like, talaga, as in so yeah, chill. Yeah, like, before kasi parang sobrang atat namin na parang okay, a perfect day is like lumabas. someone. Oh, oh. Kailangan like super ayos nyo and like you're super like made up and then you guys have like an agenda, you're going to this club and then like it's a fun night, it's a fun time if someone gets drunk or if there's like a funny story that happened. I mean, we still make an effort to look our best pero parang it's more parang after nito mag-grocery tayo. Alam yeah. mo yun? Or mag- Saka hindi na yun yung definition namin of like a great bonding experience. Oh. Now it's just life. Pero aminan mo, tita ko ever since. Dito to ayan. Well, like, when I met you, you were drunk. Uh, pa, okay. <laughs> Grabe yung like, confidence ko sana sa sagot ko eh. Yeah, fam, you know it. I don't lie. I'm just all about truth. Dropping <laughs> truth bombs left and right. So that is the truth bomb. Oh my Party God. girl ko si Lisa before. Long, long time ago. Mm. Pero ako yung unang naging tita. Aminan mo. In the gas state ka pa rin, my God. What is that? Ano yan? Sige, thank you. Anyway, okay, back to our live talk. Pag na tayo maglaglaga. So, what is like a perfect afternoon for you? Like with friends, like with friends. What's a perfect afternoon na for you now? Ako, honestly, ah. Kasi parang with our line of work na parang we travel, we go to events. Alam ko na sasagutin mo, I agree. Hindi. <laughs> Ang perfect afternoon for me is ano lang, nakaupo, usap lang talaga, catch up. Totoo. Life talk. Life talk Totoo. talaga, di ba? Kasi parang, I agree. I, I love our job, syempre. Pero, there, minsan kasi there's too much noise na you really appreciate the quiet time. I agree. Parang ngayon, the things that I enjoy more is really just when you get to really relax Mm-mm. and enjoy. Just when you really get to do things where parang you don't have any agenda. I think when you don't have any agenda and yeah. then it's just like Actually, a day of no. lazing oh, around. Oh, that's oh. really like the perfect day for me. I think it's because we have so many things in our plate right now. So parang getting to stop and just unwind and just to do nothing is such a luxury. Totoo. Yeah. So like imagine my weekend namin is still going to do groceries. Cause iba na like now I was the youngest in my family. So I really had like the least responsibilities out of everyone. So I don't know anything about the house. So I was really just I do my own things and then that's it. But now I do work and then I come home. I have to take care of the household. I have to make sure that everything's running correctly. I have to make sure that everything's clean, everything's put properly. Everyone's supplies are complete. Like our groceries are complete. The dogs are all well fed. Like everyone's being well trained. Like, and dami mo talaga ng iniisip. Like, it's not just you now. Because as you grow older, I guess your responsibilities also change. So, so yun na. Yun na yung perfect, like, relaxation for me. What do you think was your biggest misconception as a young woman? About getting old? Yeah. Um, akala ko nung bata ako, pag tumanda ka, you'll have it all figured out. Parang na-realize ko na, Jokes on you! Oh, parang, Did you see that meme on Instagram? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> na, there are still a lot of days na hindi ko pa rin alam or like, how do I deal with life? Yeah. Alam mo yon. But, totoo talaga yung fake it till you make it. And you really have to do simple baby steps. Hindi yung pwedeng, oh no, hindi ko alam gagawin ko sa life, paralyzed ako, hindi ko pwede gumalaw. But, yun nga eh, ang dami na natin responsibility, so you can't not move. Yeah. You know? So, you learn to cope. Yeah, you learn to cope. Is, yeah, ang ganda nun. <laughs> Yuck na. <no. laughs> May hugot pala ako. Pero totoo, totoo. You learn to cope. I love that life. And honestly, when you're young and you always feel like, Parang, oh my god, I don't have my life together yet. Bakit ganito? I'm here to tell you, it's okay. It's okay that you haven't figured things out yet. Pero alam mo ko, aminado ako, until now, I still question myself a lot na parang, am I on the right track? Is this really what I want? Parang, is it too late to have new dreams? Parang ganon. Like, it's never too late. Oh, I know, it's never I too know. late, fam. Dami ko lang days minsan na I think about stuff like that. It's never too late. There's no such thing as you've reached your peak. That's yeah. not dictated by society. That's dictated by Totoo. you. So don't you ever think that you've already passed your peak. 
That was like me when I was like about to try Fashion Week. I kept telling Yoni, no, I don't know if I should. Thank you. Telling Yoni, I don't know if I should do it because I really feel like I've already passed my peak. Like it's, I'm no longer at my peak. Like why am I just doing this now? Pero tignan mo naman ang features mo left and right, de ba? So it's really there's no such thing. So what's the moral of the story? Like you, there is no limit. The limit is set by you. The limit does not exist. The limit does not exist. That was what I was supposed to say. Kau, ano misconception mo? I thought that being an adult is easier than being uh, tutu, younger. I thought, oh my god, if I'm an adult now, I don't have to worry about my grades. I don't have to worry about this. I can decide on my own. I can be independent. Life is gonna be amazing. Mm -hmm. But it's not true, guys. Life as an adult yeah, is so yeah. much harder. Chaka, if you have ano, students now watching this vlog, guys, wag talaga kayo mag magmadali. Madali. Alam mo, I used to hear this all the time from my elders. Tapos I was like, bakit? Hirap na hirap ako with my thesis. Ganyan, ganyan. Mm. Pero oh my God, once na nandun ako sa real world, tama pala silang lahat. Savor this time of your life. Iba talaga yung mga problema ngayon. Like, bills. Alam mo, like, ikaw, bahay. Diba? The household stuff. Yeah. Kasi kasi parang ikaw lang, isa yeah. nyo lang, iniisip mo ngayon True. ang dami na talaga ang kailangan i-consider. And it's really not easy, guys. I'm telling you. She's telling you. I'm telling you. So, we've already bashed adulthood. But what do you think naman about adulthood is like super duper enjoyable? Naka naman kasi matakot yung mga tao, hindi na sila dumating sa adulthood. Kakasabi natin, life is hard. Mm, enjoying my money. Mm. Diba? Or like, being able to make decisions on my own. Mm -mm. Kasi dati, lahat ng galaw, kailangan ipaalam sa mommy and daddy. I mean, I still tell them stuff, but it's not like, mom, can I go? I just say, I'm going dito. Yeah. And, alam mo yun, wala na silang as much shape because they see na I earn my own money and I'm a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> tita, tita, hi mom. <laughs> So yeah, yun, ikaw. I think for me, it's the independence. Na. It's kind of the same as you, it's enjoying the independence because I came from such a strict and conservative household. But aside from that also, like even though when I say that as an adult, you'll be facing a lot of like, these different challenges that as a young kid, you wouldn't be facing. And it's like, it's what makes adulthood hard, but it's also what makes it so rewarding. Like these things that I never thought I'd be able to do by myself, that I never thought I'd be able to achieve. Like even little things, like just keeping this household together. Like until now, I would tell you, I would stop like we're having dinner I'd be like I'm so proud of myself oh my god we're actually like look at us we're actually like we fixed all of this this was all us yeah those little things like those little achievements na for me just makes being an adult super mm. worth it kasi para I feel proud of myself na nagawa ko pala siya kaya ko pala mm -mm. tada we're all made up we will continue our tita talk after but I'm Sun-kissed look yung akin. Ako, ako glowing na A glowing pita white look. Kasi I really see the difference. So, but I'm still beautiful, right? Yes. I need validation. Sige na, tara na, Shrewd. Buti na lang talaga. I put the UV protection from the Ode. Because my freckles are out to play. Just came from the beach, so my freckles are out. We've now got all our babies here. Ready to go for a walk? Are we ready? Yes, I'm so ready. <laughs> Time to go walk them. Let's go! What kind of walking is this? <laughs> she doesn't want to walk. So we're gonna bring her here. Okay, let's go, love bug. Hello! Now that we finished walking the doggies, we're doing our groceries. Are you ready I'm so to do ready. some wife stuff? I'm so ready. Okay, it's also very big. I'm testing Lisa if she knows how to choose groceries. It looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. Yeah. So which one do you want? It is, is it confidently beautiful with a heart? <laughs> Both are good. Yeah, okay. Because this one. Okay, next. So yun lang. Uh, yes. Uh, so I passed the test. Okay. By material. Choose naman a little bit red na. Because that one's not so sweet yet. Very red. Hi! Ayan, o nagkakala. Ayan, o nagkakala. Oh my god. Ayan, o 
God, my God. Isa ka yun, vlogger. Nagkakalaan. You know, before, when I used to do groceries with my parents, they always joke na, never let Camille handle the groceries because I just come home with mga junk food, chichiria, or like things that I love to eat. So nothing healthy. You would never catch me here in the vegetables and the produce section because just, I don't appreciate them. And then now, when I see like beautiful vegetables, I'd be like, wow, oh, it's so beautiful. How things change. spot here we're always just around this alfresco area in the south because the wind is like super duper fresh another thing that i used to hate like i used to hate alfresco but now that i'm older i am appreciating nature so if the weather is good i prefer sitting outside alfresco and yeah we're about to have dinner with lisa over here who's already sleepy titang tita talaga and my sis everyone misses my sister she's back and yanni from outer space. So we were discussing earlier, like with Lisa, for you, what do you think is the biggest difference like of your younger self to your older self now? I guess you stand your ground. Same lang, stand your ground. But like if people don't agree with you, you just walk away. Now you know how to walk away. Maybe that. I think that's a difference now. Before, parang you'd still fight a losing battle. But now, you choose your battles now. No, I guess like it's more of you say your opinion, whether you agree or not. Is there anything for you, let's say, na surprised you about adulthood? Because when you were younger, you thought I was that. so responsible now when we were young. Oh. Eh. Actually, I don't have a for this because she's still the same. She was already an old soul when we were young. I was so responsible yeah. na. I have like yeah. an emergency bag na. For an ap apocalypse. Yeah. Uh, a weird one. Like Middle this, child. Was Chill night, alfresco dinner, wine, no shots, no shots at all. Hi guys! Happy Our Fridays were spent elsewhere at the bar. Crazy, crazy. But now our perfect Friday is in Alaba. Molito. Eating yeah. dinner. Yes. Second Friday in a row. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I'm proud. This is second Friday in a row, okay? Last week we were there, this week we are here. It's almost our bedtime. 9 30. No! Yeah. On a Friday night. So I'm going to go uh, home after this. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been asking everyone, like, what do you think is the biggest difference of like Nita Pat and Baguette's Pat? So let's go with Young Pat. I used to like, every time one of them would tell me, like, Pat, let's go out, I'd be like, game. My parents would even question when I would be home, even on weekdays. They'd be like, oh, you're not going out with your friends. Oh, she's such a party girl, this Pat. <laughs> Social butterfly. <laughs> And but then, now, now my parents are like, aren't you gonna leave the house? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, and we live so near each other that even my mom's like, doesn't Camille live? It's not that we don't have fun. It's just that our version of fun now is different from before. Yeah, like when we usually hang out, it's in her house. We're playing Overcooked or we're watching something on Netflix or we're playing Avalon. Avalon. And then having wine at the same time. Yeah, testing our friendship. Yeah. Oh, it's been tested. Try it as it proven 110%. But what can you tell your younger self? My favorite advice for myself is really that it gets better. They all know the things that I went through, that everyone else went through, and everyone goes through something. And when you're younger, you think that your world is going to crumble just because something wrong happens. Let's use examples like, oh my god, he didn't text me back, he probably doesn't like me. Or, oh my god, I didn't get this job, blah, blah. what am I gonna do? Am I just not going to get work anymore? Like, oh my god, no one likes me. But then now, I guess it, I'm old enough to know like, oh, you know what, it probably didn't happen for a reason. Or it probably didn't happen because something better is yet to come. Oh, yeah. Which really did happen. So, yeah. 
time check. It's currently 11 p.m. I'm so sleepy. And we're already so sleepy on a Friday night. Eleven. So this is a typical Tita Friday night for us. See, ano na lang, like chico. Yeah, so now we're just gonna chica until we fall asleep. Probably put some face masks on. But yeah, that's how we keep our youth. Skincare and then chica. And then sleep. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Sorry. Bye, Bye Campas. Bye, Campas. Night.